like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Always on the line, in the trenches like a nose guard Never been a sucker, man, my knuckle game crazy Leave your eye like a raccoon, punching them out like the baby They say, he a G, and he know for keeping it 100 Dirt on my boots, not my name, he so 100 I don't play the fake stuff I'm out here killing divas who think like divas and wear makeup So somebody tell Averb to lace up oh. This man salute to the subscribers that notification game accepted and expected every single time salute to everybody that watches this content whether religiously or in passing salute to my guy showtime sp let's get to it so uh salute to this is like a preview to a blog i did yesterday you know what i'm saying i, ain't gonna, I did it yesterday but i meant to get it out but i'll be having so much stuff going on and i have so much content i'm not trying to like flood y'all line with 10 blogs a day but uh it was a verb a verb and a ward right uh going back and forth and now this thing is getting to a to to, to levels where the battle damn near is mandatory like these two have to battle at this point um salute to arp salute to rare breed entertainment salute to uh remy ma chrome 23 everything that went on yes you know we we went off we, we definitely all everybody had their blogs and their opinions as far as the pay-per-view stream and all of that but i did watch her interview yesterday with Three Letter Man, salutes his Three Letter Man, everything that he's got going on. And she definitely explained a lot of the process and the things that she's got going on, the money that she's trying to um, raise and get these people paid. She talked about Misfit turning down A Ward, saying that she wasn't getting paid enough. I don't know how much the Misfit thinks she worth at this point. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I get that motherfucker a look, and you better freeze like a motherfucker. I ain't you worth whatever somebody's willing to pay you. But when I heard that she told uh, Remy that we're not even close, I don't know what she thinks she should be getting. I really don't know. But, you know, salute to you and everything that you got going on. But I haven't seen her since, like, Battle Official, like, two, three years ago, and Official won. So, I, that's another story. But, um, salute to ARP, you know what I'm saying? I seen his blog, he seen our blogs, we text this morning. That's my man, like, that, that's my brother. Like, we'll, we'll talk shit, we'll go back and forth with each other. And he does it at a high level. He's a very respected blogger, and he does what he do. You know what I'm saying? I told him earlier, I'm looking forward to the next joint that y'all have, and the max out, or whatever the case may be, on the next big battles, and we're going to continue doing what we're doing for the battle rap culture. Definitely my guy. Um, and like I said, Remy Ma Chrome 23, the VOD is out. You know what I'm saying? They explain the line being wrapped around the block. They couldn't start the show. and the She pretty much explained everything. If you want to see it, go watch it. It's on PSA Hip Hop. Now, back to Verb and A Ward because this the reason why I spoke about both of them is because this is where this started at. Uh, a Ward takes a shot at Verb, crowd goes crazy, and you know Verb is continuing to do what he do. I watched some of the, some of Verb's show. I know the things that he'll do. He, you know, white man, white man. Like he's just like he's almost like like he's like driven to this. We knew A Ward was white five years ago, so like he's like driving this point home. And uh, Verb said, uh, what did he say? What did he say? He, he, uh, he tweeted A Ward, tweeted, 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 tweeted A Ward, A white boy, I told your mama my name and said your son is a dork. Tell him I said that. A Ward responds, I might go tell both your mothers the same thing. Da 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 da, DeMarco, what are we doing here? What are we doing? He said, I might go tell both, because you know it's been a long standing rumor. You know how you know bad a rap is. I like what Verb is able to do. I like what A-Ward is able to do. I do love the battle, and I think it should happen. Um, I seen Verb talking about only being insane. Because, you know, Verb will do this shit, right? Where he's like, uh, the owners of the land don't speak to the fishes in the farm. I don't like He does this shit. I, I like, y'all you, you, niggas know. Come on, son. Verb is Verb. I fuck with Verb. Please, I, I want to end up show. I love what you do, keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I liked your last performance versus show. We not gotta call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. It's me over here. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's what I do, bro. You know, you be like the, the, 
the, the land, the owners of the land don't have to speak to the fishermen. The, 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 the herders of the cattle don't pick up manure. You know what I'm saying? He do that shit right there. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not even he's not even validated on this land. He went over there to New York, but the thing at the end of the day, Verb is still a legendary MC, and he's able to uh, get busy when he wants to. If he battles an MC like Award, it's gonna be a fight because Ward don't really like lose to many people unless they white. But you know what I'm saying? For the most part, he be winning battles and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know uh, he got off versus Vixen. He got off versus Vixen. We not taking that away. See, the thing is, they will look at your successes with plain sight, but your failures get looked at with a microscope. Like they will microscope any failure that you have. Think about it in life. Whenever you fail, or whenever you don't succeed, or whenever you do something wrong, or whatever you fuck up, that's the first thing people always want to go back to. They will always want to go back to some shit that happened two years ago, eight years ago, five years. They will never focus on the successes that you have. So when Ward lost the battle of Big K, everybody focuses on that. Bang, 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 bang. But you just smoke Vixen, and it's like, oh, you did it because she's a girl. As the goalpost continues to get moved. But I would love to see the battle, and I hope it could happen. I did speak about the Hitman Holla Fallout aftermath in his blog. So, matter of fact, just check this out. I'm out. A Ward. Salute to A Ward and everything that he's got going on personally and professionally. Salute to all the leagues that you perform on and the performances that you have. I have been one for many years that has been one to contest or debate when it comes to where he's at in battle rap. I know there's a lot of people that's like, oh, he's just good for the token white guy. Or, oh, he's just doing that here over here. Oh, he's not doing that over there. Y'all love to move the goalposts when it comes to A-Ward. Y'all said a lot of artists was like, he ain't beating Vixen in New York. New York is, is New York. And y'all y'all said, oh, this is the shit y'all said. This is what y'all said. MCs, battlers, the media, y'all all said it wasn't gonna happen. Then it happens, and then y'all don't give him no props or admiration. It's just, oh, it happened because he beat a girl. Y'all got to pick a struggle. Is you is, you is or is you ain't? You know, it's like no matter what he does, y'all always gonna have something to say. Now, well, did he get smoked by uh, Big K? Yes, he did. I was standing right there, like this. I, I, right there. Salute to ARP Rare Breed Entertainment. I had to make the blog that I had to make because, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. But that's still my guy. I'm standing right there watching this shit. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Big K is getting off on him. Oh, Big K is get. Oh, 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 Big K wilding on him. Woo! And for those that didn't see it, when it comes out, you're going to see it and see it there. The VOD, st the VOD is still available for Divide and Conquer. I'm still promoting ARP. I am. I still got you. But uh, now A-Ward is battling on Chrome 23. And he's battling against Vixen in New York. Timberland zone. He told him, you got to rap with me. He told him, you got to rap with me in New York. What up, Art? You got to rap with me. So Verb, uh, Verb has his show every day where he does a lunch with VZ. And then he has, you know, he does other joints, you know what I'm saying? He has a YouTube channel. He's been popping. He's been doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Verb. The one thing that's good about the media who do, uh, who do media, like the media when it comes to like the artists, like the goods and the verbs and different people, DNAs. They have a distinct advantage when it comes to doing media because not only do they uh, know the battlers, they've been in the field before. They've stood in front of people. They know what it's like. They know what preparation is. They know what it takes to win battles, you know what I'm saying, for the most part. Um, do, can they do it better? Better than we do? No, they can't. But they still do very well. Like, they could do very well. And then they could get the... Um, the artists that regular media can't get. And I'm not saying can't get, because there's a lot of media who can get a lot of artists, but there's very few people that could call Hitman Hollow on a Tuesday and be like, yo, pull up, I want to talk to you, or get conceited, or get, you know what I'm saying? Like, because some niggas have to go through great lengths to get to that, you know what I'm saying? And then a lot of the times I'll tell y'all in the game when you try to reach out to artists, they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna be on that Tuesday, nine o'clock, let's do it. And then they disappear, and then Wednesday, and then it's just be a headache. So for me, I've always prided myself and now 45 million views without artists. Like, I don't want artists because we like it's a headache. It's always a headache. It's a hassle. This nigga don't want to do this. This person wants to do that. Oh, don't ask me about this. Oh, I don't want... I ain't dealing with it. I, don't know. I moved all that shit to the side. And Showtime SP is my brother. And we just do our thing together because I just don't have time for the politics. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Verb comes out and he's talking about A-War. You know, and a lot of people would say, like, you know, A-Ward takes a shot at Verb in New York City. 
crowd goes wild, and Verb, you know, he goes into uh, his bag. I've been doing this for 15 years. This white man, he just got here. He gonna have to work for like I I, that, I see the route that he goes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas know how he be talking. So, um, he basically saying that A Ward got to come to St. Louis for that fight. I respect it because why would a fight like this where you got Midwest legend and Verb battling an up and coming artist who's damn near top tier. If A-Ward ain't top tier, I don't know what it is because every card he's on, he does very well. He wins most of his battles. Yes, he lost to Big K. Yes, he does have it. Every artist has weaknesses or have things that they have to work on. A-Ward, clearly, his kryptonite is other MCs of the same color, same complexion, and that can rap. They actually, you know, they've been getting by him. He'll battle more, I'm sure, but he's going to have to learn how to get past them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's got things that they need to work on. So, Verb is saying, uh, if A-War wants to see me, he needs to come to St. Louis for it. And, you know, you got to fight me here. You got to fight me on the soil. I'm all for it. But Ward is accepting it. Ward has accepted it. What a whip. How's it going to move? You know what I'm saying? Are y is it something that y'all going to do? Or y'all going to have a league do it? What is the, 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 the total outcome? Because I definitely want to see it now. You know? Verb, you can say whatever you want about Verb, whether it be career, whatever the case may be. To me, he's still he's always gonna be a legend. There's never you can never ever 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 take anything from him or from his legendary status. But at the same time, you want to see that fight. And I and I hear like with Verb and other artists will downplay people. I don't really let that that shit go in one ear and out the other because it's all promotion. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to uh, talk about your achievements, say you ain't done shit, drag you down. He's supposed to do that. It's called marketing. Verb is one of the best marketing ever. If you want to if you want to market your career. Or you want to win a battle, not win a battle, but if you want to get a battle, if you want one that's going to be promoted well, start some shit with Verb. And if he wants, if he chooses to address you or deal with you or even target you, y'all can make some money. You can definitely make some money. He's one of the biggest ops ever. Like Verb, like your resume really ain't even complete as a new or up or coming battler until you stand in front of Verb because he's one of the spearheads of battle rap. Yeah. Don't let nobody gas you and say that A Ward's performance in New York was not phenomenal. It was the best performance of the night, literally. Oh, the best three round performance of the night. That it is what it is. There you nobody could take anything from it. He went crazy in New York after people said it wasn't gonna happen. That's what he did. Now Verb wants that, Verb is gonna have to uh, they set that wreck up and make that happen. Um, I wanna talk about something else before I get out of here. Uh I got some tea today, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been talking a lot, you know what I mean? Got some tea. So, uh, Hitman Holler. I've been seeing all of the rapid reaction to this Hitman Holler battle. And never did I think that as a person who recaps more battles than damn near everyone in the world, if there's someone else who recaps more battles or does it at a higher level than me or breaks them down or bar for bar like myself and Showtime SP, you let me know because I, I could tune into them sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But it really ain't, you know what I'm saying? This is what I do. This is the bread and butter. Like, yeah, we'll do the we'll do the fucking events. Yeah, we'll do the current news. Yeah, we'll talk our shit. You know what I'm saying? We do that. When it comes to the breakdowns and the bar breakdowns and understanding the battles and knowing the, the schematics of what goes on, this is what we do. SP came from, he was all 106 in part. He can actually rap. He had he knows rap. I could actually rap. I know rap. That's why when you watch any other recap, when they do bar for bar breakdowns and shit like that, do it sound like us? Do it sound smooth? Is it flu It don't flow like that. Because a lot of the times, these guys, you know what I'm saying, like, and it don't matter who. I, I, I don't watch a lot of them, but when I see other people try to break down bars, they don't really get it. They're reading it and telling you what they see, but to truly understand the setup, the punchline, the haymaker, the cadence, the perform Like, this is what we do, and there's nobody out there that can challenge that. I'm sorry. If they are, let me know. I really wouldn't care because I still feel the way I feel. So, we've been doing this, me and SP, going on four or five years now in a row. We've been doing this, breaking down battles, and we got chemistry, and, you know, he'll joke on me, I'll joke on him. That's my brother, though, you know what I'm saying? So, we do that. We have fun. That's all we do, right? So, we've been doing this for such a long time, and... I think we could properly assess a battle. I think the people that watch us can properly assess a battle or properly assess or know that we can do that, right? Um, I saw Hitman Holler 
in Atlanta a couple weeks ago. I had put the footage in some blogs. I don't need to bring it up. I don't want to embellish it. Like, yo, I got to You know what I'm saying? That's not that. And we spoke, and I let him know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's about the rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see what you can do. I want to see you perform at a high level. This is what I told him. He'll tell you I told him this, right? Um, the battle happens, right? And I've watched the battle now, like, maybe four times. I've watched it a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, in a lot. Um, and the, the first round is a very good round for Hitman Holla. He's saying things like, you know, the crowd and the this, that, and the third. Like, he said he got booed on the walkout and things like that. But when his material, I'm worried the material, when he was rapping his material, he was getting mad reaction. The two Jasons, mad reaction. Uh, other lines in the ride, it wasn't the easy route, mad reaction. You know, the touchdown, the celebration, mad reaction. They was reacting to his shit. He didn't get booed throughout the whole battle. His first round was probably the round of the battle. He said it himself and other people did too. But I say that to say this, you know, the way that he's been acting after the battle, like you could tell a lot after a battle happens. When you see an MC going on spaces and uh, retweeting every single person that said they won and, you know, arguing or going at people who said they lost, like, bro, you don't have to have a certain amount of money or a certain amount of things in life or a five bedroom house with 15 bet to know or to assess a battle. If you feel like somebody lost, bro, you feel like they lost, man. It is what it is. Like, it shouldn't be like that. And I just think that, you know, the fans will gravitate towards that and they're going to continue to rub it in your face and tell you that you lost and things like that. But I was going to say this. Look at what Easy's doing. Easy's not doing a bunch of interviews. He ain't been in no spaces. He ain't putting up a bunch of tweets. He ain't doing none of that. He letting the people talk. And the motherfucking people are talking a lot for him. I'm sorry. But it is what it is. They're talking for him. And I know you're probably not used to you're probably not used to being on the side of a battle where people are saying you lost, you know what I'm saying? And I get it. It happens. He's been beating everybody. He's been beating everybody. You ain't the first one. He ain't going to be the last. It's not the first battle. It is not the first battle that he's won. It ain't, you know? But at the end of the day, when you look at the material that you had, like you had the plane scheme, you know, Delta, uh, Comfort Plus, et cetera, et cetera. You had that. That was your scheme. Look at the reaction to Easy's basketball scheme. I'm talk, just talking about scheme for scheme now. Look at the reaction that his scheme got. Look at the reaction that your scheme got. Okay, here's another one. We're saying the crowd, the crowd, the crowd. You ain't from New York. You ain't from New York either. I understand Philadelphia's an hour and a half from New York, but it ain't New York, right? And you knew this going into the battle. Like, this is the things that you said. Like, I watched the face-off. I seen the things that you said. Like, he couldn't beat you and, you face people with better attributes. And this is the things that you said. So I don't like that after the battle is over, if it doesn't go the way that someone thinks, now we have to bring all of these conspiracy theories and people in the comments and like, oh yeah, y'all biased or y'all East Coast biased and y'all, y'all, y'all. Now we biased, we're biased because we felt like one person won a battle over another. Like this shit is crazy. I ain't never saw nothing like this before. I stopped talking about it. Like I'm gonna stop talking about it on social media or Twitter. I don't wanna argue with you niggas. I'm not about to argue with y'all when I got a thousand videos on my channel, literally, I got like a thousand and uh, 1,130 videos on my channel. And a lot of them are breakdowns and this, that, and the third. So I feel like I have a battle rap mind. I have a thousand videos. I'm not about to argue or get mad at anybody over who we felt like won a battle, my nigga. Like, it's not that serious. Hit me, I don't be back. He, you, you know, if y'all niggas want to retweet or y'all niggas want to be a follow or some shit like that, is that what it is? is it, Y'all niggas really be jumping out the window just trying to get someone's attention, bro. Like, and it ain't gonna change the outcome. I seen it on cam. That third round where you're like, oh, they gonna catch it on cam, and y'all, y'all, that hate don't look good on cam, bro. You said that shit like 17, 18, 19 times. And then there was a long pause when the mics, and I ain't gonna, I, I will give you some credit. The mics was like, you know, you were saying the mic, right? You was like, the mic, the mic. But the whole crowd, when she was asking the crowd, could they hear you? They was like, yeah, so they could actually hear you. But it was like the mic, the mic, and they're changing out the mic, and et cetera, et cetera. But first round close, you give it to Hitman Cool. Second round was the round where he said, you know, you, you dissed him about his girl, the hurricane dude, the hurricane dude, the hurricane dude. This is the round where he said, you got shot, you ain't married her yet. His, his come at your girl was bigger than yours and his. It is what it is. That's, it. That's, that's his round. Third round. Dude, it just, like, you didn't close the deal. And I understand you're going back and forth with the crowd and yada, 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 but 
that it still just was not enough. You had a couple pockets and moments here and there, but like, look at when you look at who's saying he won, who's trying to make it debatable or fight for it. Look at the compromise versus look at the people who's saying they got one person winning. It be they literally be down divided. The people who want the invites to the show or to, to come down to the woods and do this, that, and the third, and hang out and be friends, that be the niggas who be embellishing battles saying people won and shit like that when they know they did. The people who don't need none of that, most of them are saying they're calling it how it is. And battle rap is an opinionated sport. It's so opinionated. I saw Jazz after the battle do a 15 minutes of fame, I believe, interview. She did an interview with somebody. I think it was Swave. Yes, 15 minutes of fame. Salute to Swave and everything that he does. He's outside. He makes moves and things like that. They asked her about the battle, and she was like, she had this person winning, she had that person winning. Uh, official and Prestavia, that was really a fight. I got 0-2-1. You got 0 what? You got 0 what? You got 0 what? You got, you almost got yourself a blog by yourself. Bro, what? You got a 2-1, what two, two rounds did she, you should have asked her more, Sway. You should have asked her for more. What two rounds did she win? See, this is what I'm talking about, because you really, there's really no end game here. Because this is what happens in battle rap. A motherfucker will say they frame one, even if they didn't. I, I, when I seen that, I said, you know what, y'all got it. I'm out, I'm out, bye, bye. Get my tea. Take my tea with me, man. I ain't doing this shit today. Y'all have a great day, man. Hey, battle rap is battle rap, man. This shit crazy, man. Say the boy been solid when you ask about your Mac and hard. Always on the line in the trenches like a nose guard. Never been a sucker, man. My knuckle game crazy. Leave your eye like a raccoon punching them out like the baby. They say he a G and he know for keeping it 100. Dirt on my boots, not my name. He's so 100. 